So hello and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be talking through the best drugstore launches so far of 2022. I do these every three months, like every quarter, just to kind of recap about all the products that have been released and what I think are the best of the best. I will link part one to this video down below. Some of these are brand new to me and some of them I've had for a while and I've fallen more and more in love with them. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, first product I have to mention is a self tanning product I have completely fallen in love with. This and one other tanning product that is a little bit more expensive are my two absolute favorites. And the more expensive one is Coco and Eve. It's just like the tannest I've ever been in my life. It's when I want to be like extra, extra tan. Um, the Coco and Eve one is really good and it doesn't have a strong smell. It runs sales quite often and it can get below the $30 price point. So I will keep you guys posted on that. But my absolute favorite drugstore one now is this one. This is the Tanologist Ultra Dark, or no, Extra Dark. This is very comparable to Loving Tan in the shade Dark. I would say Loving Tan Platinum is more like the Coco and Eve Ultra Dark. This is what I have on right now. Um, I put this on on Monday and it's now Friday. So this isn't even like a freshly applied tan and it still looks really nice, really natural and it fades really well. Like it's starting to, I don't know if you can see, it's starting to kind of fade right here. But it fades really gracefully. I would say that's the only thing about using the Coco and Eve one or a really, really dark tan is that because it's so dark, as it fades, when you start seeing your natural skin coming through, the contrast is so stark that it's kind of more obvious when it fades. Whereas this one's like that perfect color where it can still fade gracefully, but you look really tan. I would say this might be on the warmer side for those of you with a cool skin tone. I have a warmer kind of olive skin tone and this works really well for me. It says you can leave it on for one hour. I don't think you'd get a whole lot of color out of that, but it could be like a good place to start. I sleep in this or I wear it for eight hours to get the deepest tan that I can out of it. It's a color guard, it has glycerin, has hyaluronic acid. It's just an all in all incredible self tanner. And kind of along the same lines, I have a new favorite body lotion. This one is by Naturium. This is the Biolipid Restoring Body Lotion. This is fragrance free, so it pairs really well with the Loving Tan um, self tanner because it doesn't eat away at the tan because fragrance has a tendency to eat away at self tanners. Um, so this is a really great option. For some reason, even though it's summer, my skin has been feeling really dry. So this feels super nourishing. It feels really rich because of the shea butter and the fatty acids in it, but it's not one of those that never dries down and leaves you feeling sticky all day. I've been using the Aveeno Fragrance Free Lotion. It's on my Amazon subscribe and save. I've been using that for years. I really love it because it's fragrance free. It's nice and light, sensitive skin friendly, but I feel like my skin gets a lot more out of this and it leaves me feeling a lot more hydrated. So definitely my new favorite body lotion. Now on to the makeup. The first product I'm gonna mention is something that as I've used it, I've fallen more and more in love with it. And it is a serum foundation. This is by Neutrogena. It's the Healthy Skin Serum Foundation. I have mine in the shade Medium One, which is a really great shade. This has buildable natural coverage. I would say it's called a foundation, but it's a lot more like a skin tint. Pro vitamin B5, it's non comedogenic, no fragrance, dyes, or alcohol. Very, very sensitive skin friendly. It has a dropper style applicator, which I really like, but for some reason, Neutrogena got this right, whereas L'Oreal did not. This is somehow just not messy at all, whereas the L'Oreal serum foundation with hyaluronic acid is so messy. It claims to have sheer natural buildable coverage. I would say on the first layer, you're gonna get a solid light to medium coverage and you can build this up to a full medium coverage foundation. It has a really natural finish. So this is gonna be pretty friendly for all skin types, depending on how you set it how you powder it. This could complement almost any skin type. It's just a very versatile, your skin but better, very flattering foundation on the skin and it's one I've been reaching for very frequently. Along the same lines of just the natural, beautiful skin, this new Honest Concealer that I talked about in my last What's New The Drugstore has really blown me away. I use the shade Beige. I could probably go a little bit lighter if I wanted more of a highlighting effect. This has two types of hyaluronic acid, shea butter, niacinamide, vitamin E. It's a very luxurious feeling formula. It has pretty incredible coverage, but still feels nice and thin and lightweight. It dries down to a very natural finish. This isn't going to be super hydrating looking, but it's also not gonna be a matte finish. So it's a really natural skin-like look, which is how I would describe this one as well. Actually, these two products go really well together for like natural, beautiful, glowing skin. This is definitely on the pricier side, but I like that it has all the skincare benefits and I feel like this is one of those products that's really worth it. Next up is a powder launch from Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Believe It Translucent Powder. 
I wasn't expecting a whole lot from this. I don't know why with Physicians Formula, I haven't been getting super excited about their launches because their packaging has just not evolved. And I'm, I am guilty for really looking at packaging and reading a book by its cover. And I kind of did that with this product, but this is the Butter Believe It face powder. And you guys, this is a stunning, very finely milled face powder that is super flattering for underneath the eyes, like comparable to the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless setting powder. I have mine in the shade Translucent. It does have the signature Physician's Formula Butter Believe It scent, so if that bothers you, just bear that in mind, but it doesn't bother me, and this sets my concealer, like the Honest Concealer, absolutely beautifully and flawlessly, so highly recommend this. And while we're talking Physician's Formula bulky packaging, I have been, this is the blush I'm wearing right now, I have been reaching for this blush all the time. In fact, it is downstairs. I had to bring it upstairs for this video because it's downstairs on my vanity. The Mavi Mattes blush, and I just absolutely love the color. So I will say I do not like this plum. You can see, I don't know if you can tell that I don't dip in there at all. I swirl my brush over here to get this nice corally bronzy color. And let me swatch it for you guys so you can see. You can see it on my cheek right now, but just so you can see the actual blush color when you kind of avoid that plummy shade. It's a matte formula, but it still looks like it has a little bit of sheen to it. It lasts all day long. It's just the perfect warm toned blush. And they really just hit it out of the park with this one. Speaking of blush, the next one is another blush that has definitely quickly made it into this list. And it's the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blush. So you guys know I've loved their putty collection, their putty bronzers, their putty blushes for a long time. So when I saw that they were gonna release these, the only thing I was nervous about when looking at the swatches of these and just the up close photography that they had of these was that it looked kind of like there was glitter or shimmer in it. And that could not be farther from the truth. I have mine in the shade, I believe this is Bermuda. Yes, I have mine in the shade Bermuda. And for being a really luminous formula, I feel like this has sort of like a soft matte finish to it. So it's not one of those that's gonna be really sticky and go on like a balm. It just looks like it. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. It's gonna complement more skin types, but it still gives you that like glowy, balmy look. All right, I didn't realize I had so many blushes in here. The last blush in this lineup is one that has grown on me more and more. This is the LA Girl Soft Matte Blush. I have this in the shade Grace. Let me show it to you since we're showing all these blush colors next to each other. This is very comparable to my beloved NYX Sweet Cheeks. I love this color. It's kind of like a mauve -y color, and it's just a really smooth formula. It does dry down somewhat quickly, so you wanna work quickly with this, but it is so flattering, so pigmented, and so long-lasting. If you have more oily skin and you want cream blushes or liquid blushes, but you're like, I've already got so much shine going on, I don't want anything adding to that, this is a really great option because it does dry down to a soft matte finish and it really stays put. Right, and then I have two lip products. The first one I talked about recently, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one. This is the ColourPop Glowing Lip. I recently picked up the Tarte Plumping Lip Balm and this feels very, very similar. It has a very similar texture, look, and feel. I have this one in the shade Indulge Me. It comes in another more pinky shade, but this is a great nude color. I'm losing, I'm running out of room here, but just so you can see this color, I, there's a theme here. <laughs> but just you can see the color and the shine on this. If you're into that like glassy, glossy, clean girl makeup look, this is an essential. And then speaking of products that grew on me, this has been in my collection for a while, but it's new as of this year, and it has quickly become one of my absolute favorite lip products of all time. And it's the L'Oreal Paradise Balm and Glow Lipsticks. This is in the shade Beige Eden. That's what I have on right now. I have the Milani lipstick in the shade Peony and then I layered this on top just to give it that glassy lip effect. I love the trend of these glossy lipsticks because it's sort of like the best of both worlds between a gloss and a lipstick because it looks like I'm wearing a gloss but it feels like I'm wearing a lipstick. Very natural looking, very flattering and I feel like glossiness really helps plump the lips. This one and the ColourPop one are just very on trend for what's popular right now, and you can see they both give that beautiful shine to the lips, so highly recommend this. I love this shade to layer. This is Beige Eden, but then the shade Rose Mirage, stunning. Last but not least, this product is not new, but it's new to me, and I never did another update on tubing mascaras, and I actually found an affordable one that is better than all of the ones I mentioned in that video, and it was officially the winner on my Instagram story showdown. 
and it's by a brand called Hamish. I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but it's a Korean brand. You can find this on Amazon. I believe you can find it on their website. They have a US website. You guys, this is the best tubing mascara on the market. I've tried Hourglass, I've tried Thrive, I've tried the new Tarte one, like you name it, I've tried it, and nothing has compared to this. It's got a curved wand. I found the best way to apply this is to go in with a pretty generous layer on one eye, kind of wait for it to dry, and go back in with that second layer, and then once it's completely dry, I do like a few little taps with my eyelash curler, and you guys, I have never gotten so many compliments on my mascara. This is the jam, so I wanted to just kind of circle back and update on the Tubing Mascara Showdown because this is affordable, it's I believe $12, you can buy it on Amazon, I can't recommend this highly enough. And that is everything. I feel like there are so many products that I've been loving, so many new releases that have hit it out of the park, but these were the ones that came to mind when I sat down to film this video. Again, my first video with the other 2022 best of will be linked down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next one.